everyone, my name is Jennifer Anderson. I am the owner and operator of Soul Stitches Sewing Classes. Welcome back to our second last isolation sewing session that we are running with Glen Ira City Council Arts and Culture team. I hope you've all enjoyed the tutorials so far. If you haven't seen them, you can go to the Glen Ira Arts and Culture page and click on the video section, or you can go to the Soul Stitches website. Um, today we are going to be making three things so we're going to make all our patterns at once then we're going to cut all at once and then we're going to sew all at once they're pretty easy um, we're going to make the scrunchies and we're going to make the bandanas that tie uh, at the top and I'll show you how to make them longer or shorter uh, and we're going to make this one's probably the most complex um, a headband with an elastic at the back uh, which these should all be quite useful because we have not had uh, access to hairdressers in Melbourne at least anyway so you can all um, experiment with some new hairstyling techniques uh, so I will pop up onto the screen now the list of materials or requirements um, that you need and if you haven't got them already you can get them and then we will get started with cutting out headband the pattern is two rectangles this is for this one here with the elastic in the back for this one we need two rectangles I'm not going to draw those because they're just rectangles um, 36 centimeters by 16 centimeters uh, the casing the section for the casing is 36 centimeters by 8 centimeters now what you need to do is draw yourselves a rectangle those two sizes and then draw a small mark here halfway between on the short end and the same on here and that is your fold line the bandana is also a rectangle uh, I am going to draw that one because I'm going to show you how to do the curves here so what we need to do for the bandana is we need to draw a draw a rectangle 45 centimeters by 16 centimeters going to cut it out. Okay, so after you've cut that out, you're going to fold your rectangle in half. And then we're going to draw a curve and cut that off this section here. Now, this one here has a curve on the edge. If you're not confident with stitching with a curve, you can draw a draw it so that it's much more angular like that. I just like the look of a curve. If you also wanted to have one that you can tie a bow in, rather than this one here that just has the knot like that, if you want one that is longer, that you can actually tie onto your head with a bow you will need to cut the length of your rectangle longer so if you're going to have it like that onto your head with a bow you will need to cut it and I will measure this and let you know you will need to cut it 60 centimeters you'll need to cut the length of your strip 60 centimeters to just do it like this which is the one that I'm going to do today it just needs to be 45 centimeters it does depend on the size of your head but that's roughly so we're now going to cut the corner off here so that we then have this nice shape like this we're going to write on the edge here place on fold on that edge there and we're just going to write on here that this is the bandana and we need to cut one on fold 
we're going to measure in on one of these court one of these long edges we're going to measure about five centimeters because we need to leave an opening so we're just going to put a little mark there and when we are sewing that up we will need to leave an opening so that we can sew it closed now the scrunchie um, doesn't really have a I don't make cut a pattern I just cut my fabric out directly um, and the the measurement for the scrunchie is approximately for one that looks like this 110 centimeters by 12 centimeters if you want one that's a little bit skinnier um, you can just cut it cut cut it narrower so perhaps cut it 10 centimeters I probably wouldn't go much less than that um, but the length of your strip of fabric is about 110 centimeters. All right, so now we are going to get on with cutting our fabric. All right, so the first one we are going to cut out is our headband, this one with the elastic in the back of it here. Um, now I'm going to use this fabric because I like it. Um, I've actually made a... Um, a mask out of it that I lined in denim it's actually the sleeve of an old shirt that I had and I just like this fabric so I'm gonna make this fit now when you're reusing a fabric like this um, this is the center of the sleeve so one would assume that that is going straight down there just make sure that you've got your pattern placed on here nice and straight don't do that because that's uh, not going to work properly you need to have it so that it's relatively straight in line with the straight grain of the fabric so I'm just going to cut that out here now with my blade I'm going to use this piece here to cut out the elastic strip for the back only just fits but we should be okay uh, before I take my pattern off here I'm just going to mark with my little snippers or you could use your chalk or your dressmaker's chalk or a little just something to mark halfway there because that's where our fold is going to be and the same thing on this end and then you can take your pattern off there And then we are going to cut this one the same. I know this edge here is nice and straight because I just cut that with my the other side. So I'm just going to lay that up nicely on there. Once again, marking the halfway point the fold point so just marking that there now this is single layer we didn't have this on the fold it's just single layer so we've got both our pieces cut there so we will put them aside and that once again is for the one with the elastic strap in the back and now we are going to cut the bandana now I've got this lovely piece of fabric here. It's um, perfectly suitable for a head tie, nice and beachy. Um, I've folded it in half. My This is a, a very small piece of fabric, but I'm going to make it fit because I like it. And we are going to put our place on fold here onto the folded edge of our fabric. My fabric is only just big enough, but I'm going to make it work. And there we have our strip for our hair tie, our bandana, sorry. And now we are going to cut the fabric for our scrunchie. 
I'm going to use this fabric here. So as I said, it is just a strip of fabric, um, 12 centimeters wide, uh, sorry, 12 centimeters wide and up approximately 110. Now most craft fabrics that you buy come around 110 centimeters, 112 centimeters, some are 115. So you can actually just have a strip of fabric that is your selvage from either side. If you're using a piece of sheeting or some recycled fabric, you will need to measure, make sure it's about somewhere between 100 and 115 centimeters. I'm just gonna fold mine over so that I can cut it nice and straight in a couple of layers. Cut that edge off nice and straight and then I'm going to measure mine 12 centimeters so I'm only going to cut the tiniest little bit off this side here so 12 centimeters doesn't matter if it's a smidge less or a smidge more okay so that is our piece of fabric for our scrunchie. So we're going to go over to the sewing machine now and uh, put those together. So we're going to start with our um, narrower strip here. We're going to fold it in half. So you have your little nick up here that you did when we were cutting. And we're going to pin and stitch one centimeter seam all the way down here and if you start off with a reverse stitch and finish with a reverse stitch i'm actually sewing on um, one of my older machines today just for a bit of difference um, i picked this machine up for fifty dollars and i love it um, okay, so I've pinned down there. We're going to stitch one centimetre, reverse stitch at the top and reverse stitch at the end. I'm just going to double check. So when you're, um, you were asked to get a strip of elastic about 2.5 centimetres wide. So just make sure that your elastic is going to fit in that uh, when you turn it through. Okay, so we've stitched that one and we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other one. Right side to right side, pin and stitch, one centimetre seams, reverse stitch at the beginning and the end. Now with this one here, you should be able to turn that through just with your fingers. With the other one that's a little bit narrower, we are probably going to need to use a safety pin to pull that one through. So with this one here, you can either try and push it through with your fingers or if you put a safety pin just through one layer there and then push it in and scrunch all the tube up onto the pin to get it through to there and then pull it through from the bottom. So you've got to pull it through from the bottom and then that turns it through. And then what we need to do is press both of these flat. So we need to press them nice and flat with the seam in the middle there like that. So you want to have the seam in the middle on there and the seam in the middle on that one. Okay, so now you have your little piece of elastic that you've got here and you're going to put your pin into one end of your elastic and then feed that pin in with your elastic through that casing. And you want to make sure that your seam that you've pressed flat in the middle there stays nice and flat on that side. So you might have to just give it a little bit of a jiggle around and feed it through 
until don't pull it all the way through what you want to do is just take it to there like that so that your elastic is level with the raw edge of your fabric here and then we're just going to sew across there about just a, a little bit less than one centimeter so about eight mil So you can see I've stitched that across there. Our seam is floating down the middle there. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave that pin in there for the minute. What we're going to do is we're going to put the right side of our uh, elastic casing onto the right side of our headband. Now the right side is the side that doesn't have the seam on it. So you want to have the seam against your palm and here you want to be able to see the seam. You're going to put it directly in the center then you're going to fold one edge over and then fold the other edge over the top of that now i recommend popping a little pin in this way so that that sits in there like that now we're going to stitch a little bit more than one centimeter because you don't want to be able to see that stitching that you just put on your elastic so we're going to stitch across there it's important to do a really strong stitch so go over it a couple of times to make sure that it's nice and secure make sure you pull your pin out before you get to it any little hairy bits off that you've got on there and then we are going to turn that over like that and that is the first side of your headband now we need to do the same thing on the other side but what's important here is that you wrap this around your head or if it's um, for a child put it around the child's head and just make sure that you've got the elastic approximately some people like them quite tight some people don't like them tight um, so just wrap it around your head and make sure that you've got it about the measurement that you would like so mine's going to be about there so there's just that little bit of scrunch in the elastic there so you're going to pull that onto there and we're going to do the same thing stitch across the end here making sure that your seam, you can see my seam is running straight through the middle of that elastic along here. So we're just going to sew again across here. Make sure your pin is well and truly out of the way and you're not going to stitch over that. And then we can cut our elastic off level with the raw edge here if you want to you can put it onto here and pin it and just double check that it's firm enough on your head so what we're going to do is the same thing that we did before we've got the right side of our fabric here and the right side of our casing and we're going to fold that up like that so it's centered again we're going to fold this side over and then this side over the top of that and then put the pin in make sure that your raw edges are nice and even it's a little bit thick this so you've got to be very careful pop your pin in to make sure it's staying nice and secure make sure your raw edges are nice and even up the top there and then once again stitch it with um, a few rows of stitching and 
there we have it all done so your nice headband with a nice little bit of elastic in it and it should fit perfectly okay so the next one that we are going to do is the bandana so we're going to do the bandana with just the little tie like this so that it ties in a little knot over the top of the head so the first thing that we will do is stitch our right sides together so it's quite a long seam I would recommend pinning and don't forget to I think when we were cutting the pattern I forgot to uh, mark the little seam here so we have to leave a little opening here about five centimeters from the folded edge so just do a little nick about five centimeters from the folded edge doesn't really matter it's just got to be big enough for you to be able to get your fingers in to turn it through so we're going to fold this over right side to right side long ways like that and we're going to pin it all the way along all right so I've pinned that all the way along there we're going to start here with a reverse stitch on this end here and we're going to stitch all the way around here when we get to the little knot mark that I put we're going to leave an opening between there so we don't want any stitching between that point there so we're going to do reverse stitch here all the way along reverse stitch and then we're going to start again here so I'm going to start off with that Make sure you start right at the end of the folded fabric there and with a reverse stitch. And we are going to stop with a reverse stitch. Cut that off and we're going to start again here. So no stitching. At this bit here because that's where we're going to turn it through just make sure you're maintaining that one centimeter seam allowance as you're coming around the curve So we have stitched all the way around there and we have our opening in the center cut all our threads off make sure you do cut all your threads off because we're going to turn that through and you won't be able to cut them off later now if you're using a fabric that's a little bit stiffer you can actually cut that corner off there and the same on the other side just means that it sits a little bit better when you turn it through so now you need to locate your opening and you need to scrunch it through like this and poke the end out and then the same thing on the other side one really good thing uh, to use to poke your corners out is a chopstick do not push too hard because you will poke a hole in it <laughs> um, if you don't have a chopstick uh, you can use anything that's sort of a little bit pointy um, chopsticks are good because they have a little abrasive end on them uh, but just yeah don't push too hard um, because you'll put a hole in the end okay so we're going to poke that through and then we're going to go over to the ironing board and give our little opening a press so we're just going to make sure that this is folded in nicely one centimeter and press that down just with your fingers just press it down nice and flat and then while we're here we might as well give the rest of it a press as well just make sure you've got all those seams sitting nice and flat like that you don't want it to be puckered so if you locate your the beginning and the end of your opening 
uh, we are going to start stitching about a centimeter before the opening and go to about a centimeter after it's a good idea to pop a couple of pins in just to keep it together make sure that your folded edge that you've pressed really nicely is sitting nice and flat and I'm just going to pop a pin in there to know where to start and then put your finger in there and a pin in there to know when to stop so right on the edge just a couple of millimeters from the edge and you can't really see that very well which is good um, but you want to be able to have that row of stitching about two mil from the edge there so there we are that one is now done as well so now we are going to get on with our scrunchie cute little beach bandana so with the scrunchie once again we are going to pin and stitch all the way along the edge here now what we're going to do is we're going to start about five millimeters in from the edge here maybe a little bit more just so that that's left open like that so that's where we're going to start and then the same thing at the other end we're going to stitch all the way along here and the same thing we're only going to stitch to about here because we want to leave that open so we're going to start off with a reverse stitch here we're going to finish with a reverse stitch here and we're going to do one centimeter seam all the way along okay so I've pinned all my raw edges nice and even I'm going to start stitching from where my pin was all the way down to the end Cut all your threads off and everything after you finish stitching put your pin in so you should have a safety pin and you are going to use your safety pin to the same as what we did when we made the headband with the piece for the elastic so you scrunch that all onto there now you're not going to be able to get all the way along so you're going to need to hold the head of your pin and pull all the excess fabric down so feed 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 that onto there hold the head of your pin and then pull it down you've got to pull from the end rather than pulling from the top so we pull that all the way through okay and then we are going to put our elastic now different people have different preferences with their elastic as to how tight they like it whether they like to be able to double loop their scrunchy or single loop um, I think 12 centimeters is a good amount because it makes a really nice good tight scrunchy to sit on a bun or a pony um, so just cut your elastic whatever length you want to cut it at and then we are going to stitch one end of our elastic onto our piece of fabric here so right where your raw edge or the edge of your fabric is here you're just going to do a little row of stitching on there to hold your if you find it easier to pop a pin in to keep it flat um, you can do that or you can just stitch that straight across there so it's attached into that seam 
Then you're going to get your safety pin and put it into the other end of your elastic and feed that elastic through your scrunchie. Now this is tricky not to don't let it go because um it will i'm actually going to cut that white bit off afterwards because i don't want to be able to see that so i would recommend putting a pin in at this point because if you let it go it'll go back in on itself so now you should have your fabric going all the way through there and you're going to stitch that onto your seam here Really good idea to just maybe do one rotation of your needle so your hand dialing it in then pull your pin out so your needle is in your elastic before you start. I'm just cutting this white um, edge off because I should have done that before. I don't want to be able to see that afterwards. All right, so now we are going to scrunch up our elastic. If you're um, if you find if you find it very difficult, you're probably better off starting with a longer piece of elastic. Uh, if you have trouble with the stitching of it. Um, and then double folding it when you put it on your pony. So what we need to do is we need to get those two pieces of elastic and join them with our fabric right side to right side. Now it is a bit tricky, but we're actually going to stitch that seam along there, joining our two pieces of elastic. Okay, so I have pinned the two short edges of our piece of fabric and we've got our elastic attached. Now it's a little bit tricky and you've got to keep all of this out of the way while you sew it. You're going to sew a one centimeter seam allowance. You just need to manipulate it as you're going. So we're stitching down here one centimetre. So now that we've stitched that one centimetre seam allowance, it's a bit tricky to show you, but that is what it looks like. If our elastic wasn't in there, it would just be a flat one centimetre seam across that short end of our scrunchie. Now, if you find that tricky to work with, just use a longer piece of elastic. Maybe for the first one that you make, it's probably a good idea to do that anyway. So what we need to do now is stitch this opening closed. So we need to be able to start, we need to stitch it from the one centimeter past where the opening was and one centimeter past the end of the opening. So if your stitching has all been lined up and correct, your seams should actually join here. So we're just gonna fold them in with our fingers and put a few pins in. And the same as what we did when we stitched the opening closed on the bandana, we're just going to do that exact same thing here. It is trickier because it has the elastic in it. So it is much trickier. But as I said, if you find it too tricky, uh, just use a longer piece of elastic for your first couple. So there's the beginning of our opening. So we are going to start stitching here and we are going to finish stitching here. Good idea to pop a couple of pins in there just to remind you when you're stitching. 
Um, so we're going to go one millimeter seam allowance and you've got to stretch it out while you're sewing it. So it is tricky. Um, so we're stitching this along here now and you've just got to manipulate your way past it. Stretch it out as you come to each piece to make it easier to work with. Make sure when you stop that your needle is always in because if you're pulling and tugging at your fabric with your needle not in, uh, it's going to pull it out of alignment. And finish with a reverse stitch. Cut your threads off. And there we have it. A nice tight scrunchy. I hope you all enjoyed doing that. Um, as I said to you when we were making the pattern, if you wanted one uh, to make a bandana that you tie into a bow you just need to extend the length out of the pattern um, if you have narrower elastic you just need to double the width of the elastic that you're going to use and add the um, one centimeter seam allowance either side 2.5 centimeters is good because it sits really nicely around the back of the neck um, and don't forget to measure the tightness um, with the scrunchies, if you found or if you haven't made one yet at all, I would recommend probably using a bigger piece of elastic like this and then just doing the double fold. You get the same look, but um, I really like them nice and tight like this, but it is a little bit trickier to work with because you try to manipulate past that elastic. Um, make a whole lot and put them in your presents box they're really good little gifts for your um, friends really good idea also just for practicing sewing because it's just straight stitching great idea uh, for kids to learn sewing as well so i hope you have enjoyed that and next uh, session we will be working on the drawstring bag and that will be uh, i will be teaching you how to do french seams which is a really great way to finish off the edges of things that are um that you if you don't have an overlocker or um, just want to have a nice neat finish on the inside of your seams um i look forward to seeing you then see you later